All right, guys, we are on the 101 northbound freeway entering from Western. And what you see up ahead is a major traffic collision. Well, I don't know if you can see because it's very dark. I was smart and took the streets because the freeway is reduced to a parking lot. From what the description given to us, it was a tractor trailer versus a wrong way driver. That can't be good. I'm hoping for no fatalities. If there is one, then you guys won't be seeing this video because I don't post those. Come on, let me in. I'm gonna be trying out my new DJI. Uh, it's the Action 4 camera. I got it on a neck mount. It's a bit more convenient than the Sony. Mark me 97. Yeah, I got a have all on this Alex. Major front end damage, but I got it. Good news, it's not a fatal. Believe it or not, uh, let me back up my truck first. Believe it or not, but there's no injuries at all. All right, like I said, no fatals. I backed up Hulk right behind so uh, this guy can finish getting the car. And I'll be working quick time for this. Completely blew out the front axle. It's gonna be a while, right? I, I, I'm pretty quick. Are you? Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the boom to attach to the pins because I can't get underneath, bro, the, the axle. When I lift it up, I can swing it over with this truck and put it right on my underlift. So, but the cleanup is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, that's all I'll make sure. I got Caltrans coming too. And just to make sure it's an owner's request? Yeah, he's here. He's over there. I, I said that, okay. Yeah, he's here. I'll Sorry. talk to him right now to see where he wants to take no, it. No, I, I, to me, all this, it's just going to take a couple hours. I know, it's not going to be... That's fine. I got Caltrans coming. So, you just do what you got to do. I just want to make sure. So, Caltrans will do the major cleanup? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, that's awesome, man. That, that saves me time. Let me work. Yeah. I'm going to go fast. It's always cool when Caltrans can help out with the cleanup. So, as you can see, the front bumper is touching the floor. That's where my Freightliner pull pins come in handy. I'm gonna physically lift up the entire truck and put my underlift right on uh, underneath the axle. Brand new DJI Action 4 camera. Really love uh, DJI products, so I'm really hoping this quality comes out great, especially at night. That's enough boom height. These are where I keep my Freightliner pool pins. As you guys notice, a lot of people actually comment about it, but Freightliners are by and far uh, the most crashed tractor on the road, for us at least. But these pins, these bumper pins, very convenient for us towers. backwards ah, perfect you do that and it gives you 
quick and easy lift points. Done. Easy. Get my straps. How you doing, sir? Seen better days? Yes, I'm sure I have. Okay, buddy, where are you headed to? Because this is obviously not operable. If your company is aware, we can go back to my shop in the meantime. And then if you guys want to get another tractor, split it, however you want to do it. Let, let me get, let me focus on getting this some underlift and I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Poor guy. Poor lady too in the car. She seemed very shaken up, but it's always a great sight to see no casualties and no injuries. All this stuff could be replaced. Just the outriggers for safe measure. That's good. All right, Josh, we're doing great time. I use my Bailey's container slings that we use for a lot more than containers. These babies are my OG synthetics. 16,000 pounds each in a vertical working low limit. Let's just get this in the throat. Right there, great. Put some tension on the white. Now we put some tension on the blue. Now that I'm attached, I'm gonna double check the air. Always take off your gloves before going into a customer's vehicle or truck. Oh yeah, see, the, the air's pushed in, so. That's a no-go. Right now, this thing is physically incapable of going back and forth because of this. But once I'm airborne, I don't want that thing to come into my truck. It's a very easy mistake to overlook. You know what? I'm gonna lift up on the blue. I wanna see if I can get that uh that tire. Oh man, I'm gonna have to strap it. Um Yeah. It's not completely loose, so we'll do that once it's on the underlift. Thing 
right there is okay. Now we drop my under the fully. By the way, besides next to that driver is the driver of the other vehicle, just to show that everyone's okay. Good. We'll just have to get this out of the way. Well, that was easy. Now, um, I obviously cannot tow it from the axle. So we're gonna do what's called a recovery tow. I'm gonna chain sling it. And to do that, we'll use, I know, my recovery half inch Omega links. Love these, man. Check that out. Omega link, it's gonna wrap up under here and come out from here, right underneath the bumper pin. Do the same thing on the other side. do it from a distance where I just grab this and I throw it um, right here oh, yeah. now we just pull get rid of all the slack Ta -da. Ta -da. Above all the stuff that you don't want to damage. So when I put pressure on it, it's not going to bust this, this, or leak anything further. Now we get my end caps for the half inch chain connector. I just use them today so they're nice and convenient already. Keep honking, you'll get there faster. <laughs> so you don't rubber neck. swing the other way. Oh yeah, much better. 
giving me an issue is that the tires so we'll have to go a bit higher to compensate you know what I could cut that off I can't chain that up there's nothing holding it Alright, let's get my cut my little cutoff saw. We'll try this one. We'll try this one. Just one little piece. First we gotta raise it a bit higher so it's easier to cut. Cutting necessary. That is comical, man. So to get it out of the way, let's use my deck winch. You ain't pushing that. I don't care how strong you are. I got a cool idea on how to do this too. <clears throat> but we'll do it the easy way. <clears throat> Just like fishing. Gotta do it so the protectors right there. And damn, look at that. Right onto my deck winch. Okay. We'll even put up my Underlift because I know it's gonna hit. Yeah, just leave it right here, ball. Take care of that. There we go. Just readjust it a little in the middle. Perfect. Now one more time, all the way up front. And then this thing's out of the way officially. So we'll go all the way up here.
We'll do it one more time. Harder, not smarter. I mean, work smarter, not harder. I just used that chain that was there. That way I can get this. Perfect. Get the boom up. Very nice. Axle is out of the way. Oh no! That transmission fell. What? How did I not see that? I'll have to, uh, can I drag that too? I'm gonna have to. Let me get the chain loose and then we'll walk over there. Oh yeah, I don't know how I didn't see that now that I have it really high raised. <laughs> that thing's completely toast. With the Safeway, I'm going to rotate the tractor more towards the guardrail. So I can safely rig to that transmission. There's good. They're making me work for my money today. Now these transmissions usually have lift points. No, that's an engine block that would have it the way I think. I can hug it. see if my uh, foundry hook will fit right here. Uh, negative. Ghost Rider. If that foundry hook right there is enough to get this out of the way. Ah, wish 
me luck. Creased and broken right there. Let me cut it. we can tug on it just to kind of okay. precise fuel tank has no leaks that looks crazy, but it's perfectly fine. <sighs> now it should be easy. In my little stash spot. So what I'll do is put everything on the underlift and then boom out, I mean underlift out. Once it's completely on the underlift, let's uh, get this thing out. We'll use my boom to pick up the transmission and the axle and I don't know. You know what, I'll put it on my underlift. All right. <clears throat> Angle this just right, extend out. but no cigar gotta swing a little bit more this way now that looks great Now we get the transmission fully out of the way. Alex is in route with the flatbed actually. So I'll put it on this side of my outriggers.
Now with this stuff out of my way, I'll really be able to focus on hooking up a bit better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's rare to see this much damage, man. For everything to just fall out like that. I thought this was the transmission at first. Yeah, exactly. Now people are gonna think I don't know what a transmission is. Watch yourself, I'm gonna swing over, okay? Oh, poor guy, man. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Yes, I have a flatbed in route. I'll put it nice and neat on top right here. Now I can focus on hooking up so it's safe to pull off the freeway. And thank goodness Caltrans is going to assist with the cleanup. <clears throat> I love these. Uh, so cool, man. Yes. What's up, bro? Uh, 101 North, just keep coming until you see me. The freeway's open now. Sleeping, it's a good call. The sleeping giant wouldn't wake up. Meow. Yeah, dude, I'm looking at the freeway and he's got the right two lanes all the way open. I'm, I'm in the carpool lane. So the, so the left three lanes to the center divider are closed. It's just the, the shoulder, the right shoulder, and the lane adjacent to it are open. So just when you get here, just I guess park like next to me. You'll see, I'll flag you down. All right, bye.
Now I can readjust this and make it nice and pretty. on the inside of the leaf spring but engine and tranny still good hence the lack of transmission and engine oil ah. Ah. all right maybe uh swing it a bit more towards the divider So it's nice and even. Like that. Uh, then we take my pins and close it up. So they don't slide while in tow. All right, we'll do another test. Let out on my cables. Straight, straight, straight. Good, I like that. <clears throat> we'll start with this pull pin. You did your job well. <sighs> And this pull pin, uh, you also did your job well. Get these out of the way. Now 
Now we get my airline and we shoot air to it. See if the tanks are busted. We'll have to cage the brakes. You, your airlines are busted. Yeah, when I when I set your parking brakes earlier, you could hear uh, everything escape. I just tested it. You're at zero. See if I can do a quick patch. You, buddy. Can I tap into close this off with the fitting and tap into here? Oh, uh, hold on. Every time I look back, I hope I get blinded when I turn around. This up front. You like my Frankenstein hookup? Dude, the leaf springs are loose. It's all jacked up under there. I was gonna ask you too. I uh. Full stand up. Yeah. Believe it or not, the other girl, the driver of the car, is perfectly fine. She was a wrong way driver. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you to see if you're able to shoot air. I think the airlines are completely messed up, but I'm thinking from where it's at, I might be able to, um, I th hopefully I have an end cap to plug up from there. Um, I don't know, that wouldn't work. Might have to cage everything. Can you put this under so it pinches it? Good idea. Would you believe a car did all this? You know what I was thinking is when she came in head on. She side -side -side. Yeah, from the deck, exactly. She probably, they both played chicken and swerved. And she completely took out this side. Is that dude? No, dude. Both of them are owner's request. There, it's light. I thought it was a transmission from that side. I was like, oh, he knocked the tranny out. Yeah, I'll just go here on my end. I'm good. Right here? Here on that end, this is how I did it. Right there, yeah, exactly.
This is not easy, dude. Perfect, man. Perfect. Hey, they said Caltrans is coming for the cleanup. Oh. Yeah, I know. There's the big stuff there? Uh -oh. Want to see? Watch. Come on this side. I'll show you what I mean about the air. I'm not going to be able to plug that up, huh? But this is only used when uh should when i go straight to the tank then yeah because this is only used when you hit the, uh, the brake pedal so this doesn't matter so that's just a service for the front yeah, it's just a service for the front <laughs> well it's gonna happen if it's from the side it's gonna shear it off all right we'll go straight to the primary all right grab a crescent wrench and take that off i'm gonna pull out my thing my my uh air hose okay. i got it on this side <clears throat> Or you know what, a crescent wrench, isn't it a 5 8 the, the, Or 9 16 for the Freightliner, for the... Might just crescent wrench to be safe. Good thing Alex is a certified mechanic. Guy knows his stuff. Uh, as you can see from my videos, very fast rotator learner, man. How cool is this too? I'm the only heavy in the entire fleet that has this. Courtesy of MacGyver. <clears throat> we'll go above the mirror right here. Let me get my fitting too. Yes, sir. Well, I'm wondering, you know, like with everything the way it is, uh, I'll have to go in more with the underlift. Kick it. I got a bungee for it. talking baby Alex has the air part done for me let me put away Hulk's boom Well, 
folks, we made it. Because the camera was running continuous, minus like a few parts, we get a nice reference of how long this job took from start to finish. I'll keep most of it in here. you go nice and neat <laughs> behind your big brothers So I put up my outriggers. Is that yours? <laughs> no, I saw that. I was like, that's yours. Can I hit your vape? Did you shoot to the primary and the secondary? It's good enough. It rolled right now. No, but did you shoot to both tanks? Just one. That thing was mangled, dude. Once I had it airborne by the bumper pins, I used a deck winch. Well, I had it skied and I pulled the axle out all the way underneath the underlift. Oh, that's then, the, yeah, then did the same thing on this side and got everything here. Then I reworked this. Then I moved it again and reworked that. Test it the in and out? I did, but. Good. <clears throat> All right, now we're done, guys. I'm gonna go tell CHP. We're done if they need me for anything else. So Caltrans can start their uh, cleanup process. We're ready. Woo! It's not easy, sir, but we're done. Uh, yeah. 
The airlines are on that. Yeah, well, you know the routine, dude. We had to do all kinds of stuff, so it's good. Caltrans is on scene, so if I pull forward just to do a test, I mean, they can park here and I guess they're gonna get a sweep or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, pull right. up some more forward and then we'll see what you can do. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, sir, you're gonna go with my driver, okay? See that flatbed over there? Yeah. See that flatbed? You'll be going with him. We're gonna go head back to my yard. And then from there you can um, get an Uber, a ride, however you wanna do it. Alex is going in and out with the underlift, so you see all the tires are rolling freely. Very good sign. Now we're gonna pull forward and straighten out and only take one lane to do a test. And then we'll strap up all the remaining fairings and pieces. The way Caltrans can get their equipment here. I'm gonna go forward and straighten out to test it. You wanna go forward? No. Sir, you can go with him, be in the front seat. Woo! Mamma mia! <laughs> Alright, we'll do this part with the windows down. In case anyone yells, something bad is happening. Turn off the PTO. Let's go. So far, so good. I'm in low gear. I feel no resistance. Everything's rolling freely. Now, once I'm straightened out, Alex will get in front of me. We will open up one more lane and we can finish strapping up anything that's dangling. <sighs> Alright, that's good, Alex. I'm going to park behind you and we'll strap up anything hanging. It's all downhill from here. I'm taking bungees just in case. I gotta do a, I know the passenger side is pretty messed up. And I got 10% battery left on this camera. So if you guys made it all the way to the end, y'all are the real ones. Let me know what you think of this quality of uh, how this compares to Alex's GoPro at night. Just a strap and we're done. piece for the flatbed. Actually, I could throw this uh, yeah, in the flatbed. Alright, final piece. Now we're out of here. 
All right, if you guys made it all the way to the end right here, then you guys were the real ones. Thank you guys for watching again. I uh, hope you guys are liking all this additional content I've been pumping out. Really helps that Alex has his GoPro too and is able to record with multiple angles. But uh, at this part, I left the DJI on an accident on the way back to the shop. So I wanted to get this right here on the GoPro, I mean the DJI, but uh, it was dead. <laughs> they lasted about maybe 90 minutes or so and I had used it all up. The job itself took about an hour. Uh, but I figured why not just use the shop cam so you guys can see what it looks like when we back something in this spot uh, I'm backing it into this is our FSP side We call it that one because when we still have the freeway service patrol contract, that's where those trucks would be at And then right there Alex is just lifting up the underlift to get it over this little bump right here And I also wanted to show off my mad backing up skills <laughs> I know I do a lot of rotator work, but yes, I still do tow sometimes, as is evident, and I'm not that bad at it. Not the best by far, but I'm not that bad. And this driver right here that you see, um, the driver of the tractor trailer, poor guy, man. I uh, did not anticipate this crash happening to him. Luckily, he's okay, but he ended up staying at the shop for like two days. Two days or so, just kicking it with all my crew. I believe he's from up north. I want to say Canada or something. Could not have been a nicer guy so hopefully wherever you are sir i hope uh, you're catching up on rest and you know you got no lasting injuries from this accident and then this part right here i just wanted to include uh what the yard looks like at night when all the trucks are in we have about four yards in the los angeles county area and this is our main headquarters where we keep most of our heavies uh you can see big flipper in the back and then dave's rotator and that stupid trailer with 45,000 pounds of oranges should be clearing lean soon and um, this is uh, what it looks like when i'm all backed up and you can't see on this part but just outside the other part of the gate castro had split the trailer for me and he used our tractor to, to back it into the yard much easier to back it in when it's split but yeah fun job really hope you guys enjoy this one and dig in the long content peace out y'all